Now, welcome back, guys, on another episode on the Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 11. Now, what I'm not sure of if if this episode is going to be the final episode on the Promised Neverland because we just finished watching Dr. Stone, Stone War Season 2, and it turned out that the Episode 11 is the final episode of Season, which is very bizarre because usually episodes of season one last either from one episode to 24th episode or from episode number one all the way to 12th episode but for some reason things were bizarre on dr stone because he ended on episode 11 so i'm not sure if the promise neverland season two will end on episode 11 hopefully not because towards the end of the previous episode out of my greatest surprise things did not go as i planned because i thought that these kids will end up fighting isabella at some point but it turned out that Isabella came through for these kids so I'm not sure where this leaves the demons the bad ones right because this is going to cause a lot of chaos because not only is Isabella, is Isabella with these kids at the same time each and every mom in their respectable uh, positions will also join Isabella to fight in order to rescue these kids so without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Let's be free. Be free, man. Be free, man. What do you want with these demons and be working with them and all of that stuff? I don't know why why he's still It kind of looks like Norman, but the older version of Norman with his hair like that. This is punishment as well as a curse. You call him Minerva. So Minerva is his older brother. And I guess he was the one that stopped his brother or killed his brother, probably. But the funny thing is that even in the grave, Minerva still wants to help these kids. What did he say? It's 
So that was when the demons made him, put him in line. A sacrifice. Is I was trapped by being in. Malice. Malice. Of course. Didn't he get that his brother wants to be free this whole time? After all of that, he's still adamant. He's right on that aspect, but still. Did he did he kill himself? He actually killed Oh damn he slits his own throat. I'm actually surprised that Norman is holding himself together because that's his father, right? I'm actually surprised. Sanja got the job. <laughs> So who else is left? You know, are there any other bad demons out there? My apologies. And again, how about we receive notice from Grizzly? Oh, these are the top dogs, uh, demons. Where is Grandma? Why? Just uh... mm -hmm. because this is exactly what Ratri did. Now the women are also about to do the same thing. Because they feel bad for what they have done thus far. They feel like staying behind to atone for their sins will be the best thing. Which is the reason why I think it is the reason why Ratri killed himself. Because he just can't bring himself. Here we are. Two different. I will remember as well. You're our only mother. Mm. 
ごめんねみんな Emma actually changed a lot of things, to be honest, because if it wasn't for her, this fight would have continued for another century or something. But I feel like they took too long to get out of here. All that time. All that time they took talking and discussing and stuff like that. Where is this place? And I can just imagine how these kids feel right now. They can finally see the outside world. Free from the... Free from captivity. And I'm sure even some of these mothers, they were bred in this farm as well. Nanda. What gives? Stay and do what? Is she going to try to negotiate with the other demons when they arrive? Does that mean that there are more farms out there? Is this going to lead us to season three? When they go to the other farms, the bigger farms to rescue the other kids.
that's that would be a good idea having Mujika and Sanja with them will give them a good advantage so there's a queen this is the second time they are mentioning a queen the demon queen I guess Yeah, these kids need to go to the human world because they can't, it's too dangerous for them. I would like you to protect everyone in the human world. Let's take care of them. Hmm. All right. Hopefully these kids and the mothers are not going to get captured, huh? I just hope. Emotions running wild, yo. Hopefully this will not be the last time we're going to see Phil again. I just hope, please. I just hope. Oh, they made it. They made it to the human world. That's great. Good for them. Good for them. Now they get to experience what freedom really is. Like, they are now free. They're going to school. School bus. Someone's birthday. Your wish better be that Emma and the others will make it in time. Oh, that's Phil over there. Someone has given birth to a new baby. Great. That must be, uh, is that Vincent or Cicero? Emma and the others continued on their journey. And I guess they are going to the other farm, right?
Oh, damn, that's a huge... Is that a demon dragon? I guess in the end, everyone deserves a, a second chance. That's what this anime is letting us know, the unity. The world where demons and humans can live together in peace. Phil has grown him. <laughs> He's grown a bit. He grew a bit. And Emma made it too. We're home, everyone. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna say this. And some of you might agree with me. Some of you may not agree with what I'm going to say, but in the end, um, did the story give us a good ending? First of all, before you answer that question, I'm not sure if this episode is the last episode of season two, uh, because because of what happened on Doctor Stone, uh, the episode ended on on episode eleven. So my guess now is probably this might be based on how this story ended. You could literally say that this is the end of season two pretty much okay because i'm not sure what will come after this because anything after this if we're going to get another episode that literally means that um that emma and the others are, are either going to venture out again or they're going to get attacked or the demon ram or uh the demons are going to invade the human world you know, but if this is the last episode of season two, the question now is what now? Because I thought that if the season it's going to end, let it be, let it end, let it end on the note that Emma, Sanjay, Mujika, Ray, and um, Norman are still in the demon uh, world, like in the demon uh, district, venturing and going to save the others, right? I think that will hold a better meaning because that, because of that, we will then be expecting that on, on season three, we will get to see what Emma, Ray, and Norman are doing in that district. How are they rescuing... Uh, how are they faring in, in in the demon territory? Were they able to get to the other farms? Were they able to fight those bad demons? Because while they were having a conversation, one of the demon uh, uh, chore boy was able to get to another site and told the leader what just happened. That their farm, that Gracefield has been under attack by humans. Like, you know what I mean? And when... When you look at those demons, based on the way they're dressed, based on their outfits, you can tell that these are the echelons. Like, these are the ones, the mastermind behind everything that is going on, behind, behind everything that is happening. So, I'm not sure um, if this is the end of uh, The Promised Neverland. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think at the comment, on the comment section. Because based on how the story ends, they are pretty much telling us that Emma and the others were able to conquer those farms. They were able to defeat those demons and were able to make peace and restore order on the demon, in the demon district. And now they have successfully made it to the human world and reunite with Phil and the others. So everything is good now. All is well. <laughs> Everyone is at peace. The demons have now gotten their peace and the human 
district now have their peace. They can coexist without one interfering on the other one's business. That's pretty much the story that they tell us, that they told us here. You know, but I would like to hear from you guys what you guys think about it all. But one thing I will say before I sign out is the fact that there is something that season one had. Okay, some of you may agree with me, some of you may not. I believe that there is something about season one that I have tried to see if I can get the same feel on season two, but season two doesn't have that. For some reason, for some reason, and I know you hardcore fans will probably get where I'm coming from. There is something about season one that after you watch it, your expectation of season two will be way up there. Like, you know what I mean? But based on how they did season two, it, I got to say that it didn't live up to my expectation of season two. With that being said, I believe that season one is way better than season two of The Promised Neverland. And if season three is to come, I hope that they will intensify just a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. I'll, I'm going to digress it here, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think on the comment box. And on that note, continue to stay safe, stay classy, and keep on keeping on.